What's up Chucks and welcome back to another video and today as you saw by the title and that obvious thumbnail we're going to be breaking down the new Chucky TV series sneak peek that I reacted to just a few days ago. I guess I have nothing else to say except sorry for the late upload. I know I was supposed to upload this a few days ago, but you know, work. Anyways, without further ado, let's dive right in. Okay, so the scene starts off with the teacher explaining how dissecting a frog is similar to telling a joke. Meanwhile, we can see all the main characters in the same class. We can see Jake, we can see Junior, we can see Devin, and we can see Lexi. We can even see who I call the bully, even though we now know his name is Oliver, thanks to the teacher. Oliver, mind your fucking business. And with the scene taking place in a classroom, a lot of people are saying that this is a reference to Child's Play 2, which I understand why they would say that, but at the same time, I mean, it's just a classroom. I mean, I don't think a classroom could be that much of a reference. The only way I think it would count as a reference is if Chucky said or did something that he did in Child's Play 2. But personally, I think the idea of it being a reference because they're in a classroom is a little bit far-fetched. The teacher then goes up to Jake and asks him what's wrong because she could tell he's not really okay with this lesson. And Jake then goes on and says what was already established in the trailer, and that is he can't stand the sight of blood. And I know I say this every time, but he can't stand the sight of blood and yet Chucky is sitting next to him. You know this is not going to end well. And I would also like to mention I really like this teacher character. One of the reasons why I like her is I like how she came to Jake's aid when Oliver called him a you-know-what for being squeamish to blood. And me liking her character so much makes me hope she doesn't die. But if she does die, hopefully Chucky says something along the lines of what he said in Child's Play 2. You've been very naughty, Miss Kettlebell. Another thing I would like to mention is the necklace that Jake is wearing. In the trailer, in every single bit of behind the scenes footage, he's always wearing that skull necklace. So I'm curious as to what kind of sentimental value that necklace might hold. Maybe it was given to him by his mother before she passed. Because it was established like when we first got the synopsis that the mother died. And it's just Jake and his abusive alcoholic father. So maybe she gave him that necklace and that's why he always wears it. Anyways, moving on, the teacher then goes on to tell us a fact that I didn't know prior to watching the sneak peek. And it's the fact that after a frog dies, the heart still continues to beat for a few minutes. But then again, that begs the question, with the frog looking like it was breathing, was that still in Jake's mind? Because for the frog's heart to still be beating after death, that means they had to have killed these frogs prior to class starting. But I don't know about you, but I dissected a frog once before, and they bring the frogs out in these bags that have this green liquid in them that preserves them. It's really disgusting, I know, but trust me. So maybe with the frog appearing as if it was still breathing, that had to have been in Jake's head, unless they killed these frogs right before class started. Jake then starts to cut into the frog with a scalpel, which some people might argue is a reference to Cult of Chucky. And once again, I think that's a little far-fetched. Anyways, like I was saying, Jake then starts to cut into the frog, but you know, he said he can't stand the sight of blood, so then he starts to freak out. And as you can see, Chucky then decides to take things into his own doll-sized hands. He's over here like, fine, if you won't do it, then I'll gladly do it. Off camera, Chucky then decides to mutilate this poor frog. And as you can see, Jake is freaking out even more than he was before. Which then begs the question, how did nobody see him mutilate that frog? Obviously, he couldn't have done it in a millisecond, unless Chucky just has the power of telekinesis and he moved the scalpel with his mind. Even then, somebody in the class would have noticed. Anyways, like I was saying, it's kind of strange because it would have taken him at least a good minute or two to mutilate that frog like that. So how he did it so quickly and without nobody noticing is beyond me. Maybe everybody in that classroom was just that focused on their project. And I'm not sure if you guys noticed, but if you look at the frog's heart after Chucky impaled it with the scalpel, it still continues to beat for like five seconds, but then it stops. And that wraps it up for the sneak peek. So yeah, that pretty much wraps it up for this video. I mean, I apologize that this video was kind of short, but the sneak peek is only a minute and 40 seconds and there's not much for me to go off of. I mean, sure, yes, the trailer was almost that same exact amount of time, but the trailer had more to work with. So yeah, let me know all your thoughts down in the comment section below. Is there anything in the sneak peek that I might have missed? Is there any references or possible references that you might have caught? Let me know all that down in the comment section below. Like, comment, subscribe, share, follow me on Twitter and Instagram at ChuckyFan101. And friend me on Facebook at IkeChuckyFan. That's I-K-E ChuckyFan. And as the text says on the screen right now, all the links will be in the description below, including the link to the sneak peek in case you want to watch it yourself. Goodbye and have a Chuckified day.